Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to use the model.find to search your database. Um, now again, all of these, I've done all of these in the past up here, and so you might want to follow along if this is the first time watching this video. I'm actually going to get rid of this comment from the last video because we want to keep kind of a clean look to our code. And so here we're going to find all people having a given name using model.find uh, person. In the simplest usage, model.find um, accepts a jQuery document, so it accepts a, a doc, uh, uh, object, uh, an object as the first argument and returns an array of matches. It supports an extremely wide range of search options. Check it in the docs. Use function uh, argument person name as the search key. Okay, so <clears throat> here basically we're going to say person.find because the model is person. That's what we're searching through. And here we're going to pass in, well, we need to pass in an object, right? Accepts a jQuery document, uh, a JSON object, so a JSON object as the first argument and returns an array of matches. Supports a wide range. Use the function person name as the search key. So here, I think what we want to do is, well, we want our name to be equal to the person name. And then, so that'll be our finding parameter. And then we're going to want to pass in an anonymous function uh, to deal with our, either our error or the uh, people found. And then this anonymous function in here, we will have our done statement, which tells Mongoose that we've been successful. And if we get to the point where we're done, we want to return, oops, we want to return the people found. And if we don't get done, so if we have an error, then we want to return, so we want to get out of the function, and we want to console log the error. And so this should work. Um, and so again, I always want to stop the server and restart it after I've added some new code in here. So I've got a clean running server. Once you see your app is listening on port 3000, that tells you your server is running. If I go back over here, well, first I want to come over here and copy my URL for my uh, project and then paste it into here. Okay. Um, so again, we could refactor this by taking this out and making it arrow functions. Um, this is already single line. I mean, we could always have it be like error return like that if you know you like the old school JavaScript style but um, single line if statements work just as well um, yeah let's get rid of this comments because we don't need that now that we've completed our our find and so uh, the reason I use people found and I'm going to stop, just stop the server and, and rerun it just to make sure that this still works. The reason I use people found is because um, it's a, that's, that's the, the, the nature of what it was. If it's create many people, what we should really say is we're passing in an array of people. And we should say error of um, people created. And then we should pass that in here. This is just totally for the other problem, but this just makes it so things are more explicit. And then if we're passing in arrow functions, we don't need them here. We can just, oh wait, I think we do because there's two parameters up there. Um, anyways, now we stop the server. You see it says we couldn't reach your REPL. And then we start the server. And then if this shows up, um, make sure your REPL has a port. I was listening. And um, yeah, we come over here. If we run this, you'll see that it's running. So that's just a glitch there. And if we were to run the tests here, uh, criteria test should pass. Okay, so I think I might have an error here. So maybe, yeah, 
I think I actually need to keep these in parentheses. So that was a refactor that was dumb. Server JS, your app is listening. For some reason, this still can't reach my REPL. But if I open this in a new window, it does seem to be working. So now if I run it, that was it. OK. Um, and so yeah, I think if I'm if you're having this error, you could probably just refresh your whole REPL.IT. And that might get you uh, what you need. My co computer is running very slowly because of it. Cool. So now this is working. And uh, we want to go to myapp.js. We're down here. And uh, I found find people by. And then we're returning the people. And if we run this over here, the tests pass. And so yeah, sometimes it's important to just reset things. Stop your server and restart it if you're not finding the answers. And um, yeah, that's good for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And we'll see you in the next lesson.